Welcome to Machine Learning for Mere Mortals, an accessible guide to machine learning using Python. I'm Nick Chase and I'm your instructor. I'm glad you have the foresight to realize that machine learning is taking over the world and that you need to get out in front of it before it's too late. Whether you define too late as getting swallowed up by a changing labor market or battling Skynet for the survival of the human race, that's entirely up to you. But let's face it, even though the technology is still at a pretty early stage, it's mixed into everything from what groceries you see on the shelf to how your car is built. I mean, you get up in the morning, you check your email, and you've already had messages blocked by spam filters. You go to Facebook, and it's their algorithms that have decided what you are going to get to see. You get in your car and you go to work, and chances are you're driving on roads that are being analyzed to create optimal traffic patterns. Oh, and the songs on the radio during your commute? They come from artists largely signed based on machine learning data based on sales. You get to work and your paycheck comes from sales generated from various automated customer relationship management solutions, most of which involve machine learning in one form or another. But you're bored, so you decide to go find another job. You go searching some of the job sites and the results come from machine learning. And also, by the way, your resume gets forwarded to recruiters based on, yes, you guessed it, machine learning. You leave work and on the way home, you stop off for some food. And even though it's crowded, there's really not much of a wait because that morning software alerted the management that based on the time of year and the weather and a bunch of factors that you don't know anything about, they're going to need to put on more staff for the day. I could go on and talk about fraud detection and cybersecurity and all kinds of other places we're seeing machine learning these days, but you get the idea. The important thing here is to understand that machine learning is not going away. And it's not something you can ignore. It already controls everything from what programs Netflix offers you to what products appear in your local big box store. And it has the potential to influence even more important things like government policy, and the behavior of everyday objects in your life. So even if you're an optimist and you're not worried about living under robot overlords, you've got to know that this is where a lot of the tech jobs are going to go, either directly or indirectly. So you need to understand how this works.